is world records. And Laura, you're up first. Okay, so world records at this time of recording is the top US grossing list of animated films. Just to confirm, this is 2016. And does anyone want to take a wild guess at one of the top five animated films. Animation. Um, artists are not film. Like, like every game of poker I've ever played, I've been looking at Laura's cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sat next to her and I have seen the full list of five, so I withdraw from this conversation. I'm going to go with like Bambi or Little Mermaid or something like that. Neither so. one appear in the top five. In fact, I've got the top five. Really? So, Max, based on what you just said, Frozen. No, it can't be. I, I, well, am I supposed to cough if it's the one that <laughs> Oh, no, <laughs> no. I, I'm, I, I think Frozen's got to be on I, I like the adventure no, of finding out. Remember, cinema. Who <laughs> framed Roger Rabbit? No. No, but uh, you do get to see... Fun fact about that later. And number five is 2013's Frozen. <laughs> yep. Let it go. Oh, just let it go. Don't, I've been listening to raps that have got snow-related themes in them, and therefore Let It Go has been mentioned quite heavily, so I'm, I'm quite sick of Let It Go at the yes. moment. At number four is Toy Story 3 from 2010. Yeah. Number three is The Lion King from ah, 94. That was one I was thinking. I, I, <laughs> I thought you were going, ah, so yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> I was so sure yeah. that you were going into that. I was there too. Ah. <laughs> at number two is Shrek 2. From 2004. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a good film. It's a good film, but it it's, not, good it's film. not number two in the world. It, it has a... Highest grossing, highest grossing US sorry, yeah. animation. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Or highest grossing in the US, because I couldn't find a relevant list for the UK. Um, and at number one is Finding Dory, which was only released a month ago and isn't actually out in the UK as of yet. And it's already the highest grossing in the US. Highest grossing in the US. Out of all those other animated yes, films. Yes, it is. I liked Finding Nemo, though. It was, it was a really yeah, good film. Good. It was quite touching. It but is. Did, did anyone see the, the, the tweet? Uh, oh, what are you up to tonight? And the response was something like, oh, I'm watching this horrific film about, oh, yeah. uh, about a father who's lost his handicapped son and is oh, going gosh. around in the, with a uh, mentally handicapped woman trying to find it. That sounds horrific. Yeah, Finding Nemo Finding is Nemo. pretty... It's, it's hardcore. Pretty pretty cool. <laughs> it's hardcore. Uh, I appear to have managed to have uh, cut off the amount that it's gross, but it is ridiculous the amount of money that this has raised. And as you'll notice, these are all Disney Pixar films. Uh, Shrek yeah. 2 is not. That's DreamWorks. DreamWorks. Okay, take that I, out. I, I, draw Max. Strikes I, again. I actually have a, a another one that I chose not to take for this round, but it's to do with Pixar. Um, Monsters, Inc. Uh, broke a, its own, one of the uh, animating, it invented new software to be able to individually mm. model each one of Sully's hairs. I so, thought that was Tangle. So did Brave. Actually. Oh, that's no, the one. Didn't. afterwards. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, this was yeah. the first one. Yeah, yeah, this oh, was. Okay. Brave did a, a different Brave. one that kept um, the princess's hair curly. Yeah, I did. I read up on that as well. Yeah, I was going to say I've heard of Brave. I didn't realize. Yeah, monsters. Did. He has something like one hundred forty thousand individual animated hairs. Yeah. You think they just do the whole scribble in blue kind of thing? That to cover it, <laughs> just like an MS Paint. <laughs> yeah, basically, <laughs> really bad stop motion animation. Oh, God. Rah, rah, rah. Rah. Should we move on? And, uh, le- unless we have anything else to yeah. add in here, yeah. let's move on. Cool. Okay, then Max, I believe you have some enormous reveal for us, which is ironic considering <laughs> the topic of your. Uh, <laughs> well played, Kirby. Um, yeah, my topic for world records is drawing creates the weirdest world records. Uh, there's a bit of a story attached to this one. Kirby sends out the topic list to us about a week in advance. We get to have a look online, in books, whatever. I was doing some research into drawing and animation world records, and I went onto a website, and it had various ones, like how many cats drawn on a hand, stupid things like how many smiley faces drawn in three minutes on a hand, weird stuff like that, not particularly interesting. But they had associated word tags that you could search. It was like drawing, animation, sketches, Interracial sex scene. <laughs> Me being the curious internet delver that I was, had to click on that one. Like, when you I, say you found this one while you were looking for the show, are you sure you didn't literally find this when looking no, for something else? On the same oh. drawing, sketches, animation, various generic drawing words, and then interracial sex scenes. I thought that must be a link to a dodgy website, so of course I clicked it. 
and I discovered that Eve Venberg drew four interspecies sex scenes in three minutes at Joe's Pub in New York, which set a world record. Four in three minutes doesn't sound that particularly interesting, except they're not quite graphic and detailed. The sex scenes featured man and bald eagle, doggy style, mouse and spider, S&M, <laughs> elephant and snake, bum bum time, anal for those who are not <laughs> aware, and unicorn and koala, the hell if I know, don't ask. <laughs> this was done as part of... But these titles are the drawings. No, this is stuff I've made up on my own. This was done as part of a fundraising event for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. <laughs> which is a fine and noble cause. Um, oh. It seems to be a record quite easily beaten, uh, but done in aid of charity. So to try and beat it would kind of make you a dick. Because you'd go, ha, I smashed the record of those fundraising for Parkinson's yeah. degrees. Mm. Disease. Mm. Degrees? Parkinson's degrees. I have a T1 in Parkinson's. Mm, yes. It's not very clear, though. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, oh. that, that, that is, uh, yeah, no. So, <laughs> I wrote those. I don't know why I first into life. No, I thought you were talking about the, um, you, you must have all seen the Ricky Gervais show, uh, Animals. I have. No, I, I, but I don't recall the that. There's, I was going to say the book about the gay animals mm. sex scenes. And basically, it's this book about homosexuality in the animal kingdom and just lots of scenes of these various different things like two dolphins having oral sex through the blowhole. Nice. But, but all of this is just drawings. There's no actual... He's not seen any of it. He's just got Yeah, it's, there's right. no photographic evidence that this ever happens. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, Do that just... it does happen. Um, yes, yeah, you told us before. Yeah, it's good I know. Money, but... on, on, on this note, I have had this fact in my mind for about 15 years. And I never thought it would be useful. But the most common bat in England is the pepistrel. Its Latin name is Pepistrellus pepistrellus. And... It has the highest homosexuality rate of any mammal. Cool. Well, that right. was a good fact. I like it. Oh, thank <laughs> you. And Dave, you're up next. Okay. Okay, so um, back in 2012, IBM made a big breakthrough in nanotechnology when they, they successfully decreased the number of atoms required to store a single bit of data from about a million down to 12. To further show their mastery of the miniature worlds, they used the same tech to make a one minute animated movie completely out of atoms. By using a scanning, tunneling microscope and copper 111, they were able to make a stop cell animation by moving individual atoms to where they were needed, taking a picture, and then repeating this process a whole bunch, and then finally stringing the whole uh, series of pictures together to make a cute little video called A Boy and His Atom, short and sweet. Oh. Let's vote for the round. So, round two for world records. Are we going to go with Laura's gross top films, Max's animal sex scenes, or Dave's It's a Small Animation After All? I am going to go for Dave's microscopic thing that gives a lot of people pleasure. Um, because I think it's very interesting. <laughs> because you're used to... No. Um, I, think uh, it's, I think it's very interesting. I like the idea that stop motion with atoms is this genius. Thing. Genius idea. Yeah. I'm getting some mixed signals here because you just gave me a point but insinuated I had a tiny penis. So <laughs> That gives pleasure to millions. Yeah. You well, don't like, know where I'm coming from. We say millions. It's not quite up there with Laura's <laughs> Gross Films yet. Yeah, millions. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Dave's a super whore. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That, that's... Uh, just give me a cape. That's all I need. <laughs> super whore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen that one live somewhere. He wears his crotchless panties <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> and I think just because you insinuate a <laughs> tiny penis, Laura, I'm going to vote for your answer. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Dave. Oh, it's only fair. Only fair. Laura, who are you voting for? Max, I will give you the point if you can explain to me what the unicorn and koala were doing. The unicorn and koala, once upon a time, there was a unicorn and a koala who, who loved each, loved other, each very other very much. much. And trusted each other implicitly. Uh, the unicorn and the koala. Uh, the unicorn was the giver. Uh, the koala was the receiver. 
Um, the unicorn was using its horn. I imagine uh, it would uh, be. I was about to say, you, you, the corn has got to be used. And to best describe the koala's action, the two words sit and spin <laughs> would probably be the most accurate account. There were actually motion lines. Oh, yeah, oh, that's exactly what I was imagining. Now, unless I'm much mistaken, in most depictions of a unicorn, the the horn is spiral. Well, I like was a just screwing. thinking. I was about to say they're not even screwy. It's going to go corkscrewing. It's going to go wrong for that koala <laughs> at some point <laughs> in the very near future. Well, you say that they have an incredibly and long intestine. I'm assuming it was a male koala for some reason, but uh, I would yeah. imagine that would actually, yeah, yeah. Now the koala had its legs spread, but I don't think it had its genitals on the show. Dave, what do you think? Are you part koala? Right, Nazi. <laughs> no. Uh, cool. So I get the point. From Laura, then. So, yes, you get the point from Laura. Okay, fantastic. And I'm going to vote for Dave, I'm afraid, because um, I just love that whole sciencey aspect of things. Yeah. Cool. Excellent round. Well done, everyone. Well done, Dave.